Hi. Someone once told me something profound. It was a warning, kind of like a life lesson. Something so unbelievable that I initially dismissed it as crazy talk. But I soon found myself having to eat my own skepticism as I fell victim to the very thing that I was being warned about. And that is to never, never, ever, 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 ever put a wire clothes hanger in your closet because once there's one in there there'll soon be two and then four and then ten and then a hundred pretty soon they would have taken over completely and it'll be too late for you too too late to go back you won't even know that you're a wire hanger person to begin with and the worst part of all of this is that you won't even see anything wrong with it It'll just be your new normal. Now, the very same thing happened to me once. But I was able to come back from the brink due to the reality check that my wife handed me. Which made me snap. Whoops. Sorry. Snap out of the coma of mediocrity and slowly claw my way back to excellence. Oh, there was a purge all right. We made sure to throw out every single last one of those wretched things, even twisting them into unrecoverable shapes so that they may never be reused by an unsuspecting future victim. No more wire hangers. Calvin Klein are the wire hangers of the fragrance world. Let me explain. I've never bought a CK fragrance or Actually, I don't have any recollection of buying any CK fragrances. Or maybe I've just blocked it out of my memory. I don't know. But what I do know is that somehow I have nine of them. I don't know how they got here. They just did. Truth be told, they're actually quite good. Quite good for the price value proposition. If you're paying anywhere over $30, or as we call it here in Australia, dollary dues, which is equivalent to about $2 US. I'm joking. It's about $4 US. If you're paying anywhere over $30 Australian for a bottle of Calvin Klein, then I'd probably give that purchase some more thought. First up, we have this one right here. This is CK Free. This was a gift from my aunt and my first ever CK fragrance. I've used this only, and I mean only in one situation, in one circumstance, and that is back when we had offices to go to once a week, we would leave during lunchtime to go to a local basketball court to play basketball and sweat. And then instead of having a shower, I'd rush back because I didn't have time for a shower and get back into the office, pull this out of my drawer, go to the change rooms and bathe myself in it. And as you can see, there's not much left because I doused myself in it. The fragrance itself is a total meh. It's nothing special. I mean, if I could break it down and describe it, I would say that it smells like a thing, a thing that you don't notice. I mean, you know it's there, but you don't really care. And if that thing wasn't there, it really wouldn't matter. Next to arrive is this one. I'm gonna put a picture of it over here because it's somewhere in the dark recesses of fragrances that I don't reach for, and I don't really wanna go searching for it. So I'm gonna put a picture of it here. It's called CK Eternity Aqua. So CK Eternity Aqua. I used it on our last family vacation, which was a while ago now, thanks to a disease of unknown origin that shall remain nameless. But back to our vacation, we went up to the Gold Coast. We went up to the Gold Coast here uh, during the summer and it worked fine. It worked, it worked beautifully for just that occasion. And I think I went through almost half the bottle in that one week trip because I did have to spray liberally. It is not something that has lasting power or projection or longevity or anything like that. It was just a scent that I could enjoy in the high heat. And it did the job perfectly. It works beautifully in hot weather, but I haven't used it since. Hmm. Next on the scene is this one right here. This is Reveal by CK, Reveal for Men. This one's a bit extraordinary, actually. It, it's quite unique and it lasts forever. It is very synthetic smelling. I sprayed it on my jumper and it was a, 
It was a Tommy Hilfiger jumper. Ooh, I feel so naughty. And I could smell it five days later on that jumper. And I will never wash that jumper ever again. Yes, extremely good and extremely versatile. I will review this on its own because it is well deserved to be reviewed on its own. And I think it has been discontinued recently. CK reveal for men. Same thing with this one. This is unique and remarkable. This is CK2 for men. I just spray this on for fun, actually. And I spend the rest of the day just catching whiffs of it on my skin and clothes. It's got remarkable longevity and pretty good performance off my skin. And yes, I spray on clothes and you should too. I mean, your clothes, not, not other people's clothes. I, I just thought I needed to clarify that because this is YouTube after all. <laughs> oh, and beware if you're going to spray on clothes and if you've got a darker colored fragrance that's high in oil concentration, like an Eau de Parfum or an Extra de Parfum or something like that, that you may actually stain your clothes. I just thought I'd have to throw that in there as well, just in case I get some people comment saying that you told me to spray it on my clothes and now my clothes are ruined. Don't say I didn't tell you so, you have been warned. Oh, oh yeah, CK2. Uh, it's a winner in my book and yes, I do have a book uh, and I might actually talk about it in another video. The link is in the description. And the last one I'm going to talk about today is this one right here. This is CK Into You, which is the second most unremarkable fragrance in my collection, second only to Guess Seductive Own. However, my wife likes this one quite a bit whenever I actually wear it. Now, she's usually into that sort of dark and smoky kind of fragrances, but she complimented me the two times, the last two times that I wore this and she smelled it, she threw me a compliment saying that that fragrance smells nice, whatever it is you're wearing. It just might be that whole citrus with the uh, with the cocoa working together, like the ginger with the cocoa that that sort of worked together here, and it's quite light. And it might, and it was actually just right after I'd sprayed it on because this doesn't really have that great of a longevity or projection, as a matter of fact. And I do overspray it, and that's why I think I've gone through maybe a quarter or a third of this bottle already. But something strange happened to me when she did compliment me on it. It, it actually snapped me out of my stupor. CK Into You, I think, was the wire hanger that snapped me out of my stupor. Again, I can't remember how or when I acquired these fragrances. I just know that they just appeared one day and kept on appearing. I've got nine of them now, and I'm only talking about five today, but nine of them I have and they're here. So I'm keeping them in my collection. No, my wear action, because I wear them. I don't collect them, I wear them. I keep them in my wear action. Sounds weird. And I keep a close eye on them just to make sure that they don't multiply anymore. Oh shit, where did this come from? CK into you for her? I don't remember where this came from. Oh man. Like I said, I'll be keeping a close eye on them. But these fragrances do make me think, as do other things. But these fragrances do make me think about a particular thing. Specifically about the beauty of mediocrity and the art of leisure, of which the point is to do something purely because you enjoy doing it and with no specific goal in mind. I think whether the honest satisfaction of those people who have been lulled into complacency are actually hiding a secret. Have they figured it out? Is there a reason that they're not striving for continuous betterment? I mean, don't get me wrong, the achievement and pursuit of excellence will always be revered, but it looks like there is a place for that which isn't striving for anything other than to be a thing, just to be there for enjoyment. No expectations, no reservations. There is a place for something which isn't excellent. There is a place for something that isn't the goat and which isn't even wanting to be any of those things. And while that intention may be valid, the current place for them is in the closet next to the wire hangers.